These handheld enclosed pizzas are compact enough for kids to easily hold. They're baked, then immediately frozen, so they require no preservatives, and all the ingredients are organic. One main ingredient is cauliflower. While having little impact on flavor, it packs a strong nutritional punch. Low in calories, it's an excellent source of several vitamins and minerals and dietary fiber. It also helps thicken the filling. After removing the stems, the cooks boil the cauliflower heads until tender, then remove them from the pot with a slotted spoon to let the water drain away. They puree the cauliflower in a food processor. The cooks also boil and puree butternut squash, which is chock full of vitamin A, vitamin C, and many other nutrients. The squash puree adds sweetness to the filling and also helps thicken it. The other filling ingredients are tomato paste, parmesan and mozzarella cheeses, potato flakes, sea salt and spices, and water. After measuring out the required amounts, workers pour the ingredients one by one into a large vat. They blend the ingredients, not with an electric mixer, but manually with a large whisk to keep the texture coarse. The ingredients for the pizza dough are wheat flour, unbleached all-purpose flour, baking soda, and palm fruit shortening, which provides the fat that makes the dough pliable. They add water, then blend the ingredients in a mixer. For how long is a company secret, and it's the critical factor that determines the dough's texture. They also won't reveal how long or at what temperature they let the dough rest once it's ready. The next step is to transform the blocks of dough into sheets for making the pizzas. They place a block, which is about 20 centimeters thick, on the dough sheeter. The dough moves back and forth beneath a roller until it's flattened into a sheet. A fine dusting of flour prevents the dough from sticking to the roller. Once the dough sheet is just the right thickness, they wind it on a spool. The operator transfers the spool to the processing line, which unwinds the sheet to begin making the pizzas. Four rotary blades trim the sides and divide the sheet into three strips. Spray nozzles lightly moisten the dough with water to make it more pliable. At perfectly timed intervals, a depositor dispenses the 33 grams of filling per pizza on one side of each strip then the machine lifts and folds the other side over. A crimping wheel seals the edge to encase the filling. A sprinkle of flour prevents the dough from sticking to the crimper and rotary cutters, which trim off the excess dough. Finally, a chopping blade descends to separate the filled dough into individual pizzas, and a crimper seals the third edge. Workers transfer the pizzas by hand onto baking sheets lined with parchment paper to prevent sticking. The company won't divulge how long the pizzas bake in the oven, but it will say that as soon as they come out, they're flash frozen. This rapid deep freeze locks in the nutrients and makes adding preservatives unnecessary.